Hello, and welcome to Holistic Lifestyle Tips, getting real about the woo-woo. I am Becky Russell, owner of wellness company Hope Essential, and I am an essential oil educator and a holistic lifestyle educator. I just love to teach. And I've been living that kind of lifestyle for over 25 years. It served me well. I have not been blessed with great genes. And typically, um, by your for 40s in my family, you are on, you're having blood sugar level issues. And I have worked really hard um, to avoid that. And I am 62 and it's not an issue for me so far. So I am very, I'm grateful, but it is hard work, but it's doable. So I want to spread that news that holistically you can have that preventative, proactive approach to health. And so I decided to have a series where um, I'm interviewing experts that can help us live that holistic lifestyle. And uh, today I'm super excited. I have uh, Delia Rusu and welcome. So thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you, Becky. Thanks for the invitation. I am honored. And uh, Dahlia is a life coach for teenagers and children, and she specializes in a skill called, called positive self-talk, that skill set. And so in my series, we usually address one of the areas of wellness, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Which one do you feel like this falls into? Well, without a doubt, it's going to be emotional wellness. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's where it, where it goes with, with everything else. But yeah, it's part of our emotions and it's part of our feelings and um, yeah. Well, and I, I don't know if I'm in a minority or not, but I truly believe emotional wellness is the most important because if you are not emotionally well, you are not going to have the motivation to go to a gym or eat healthy or get your sleep, or you're just going to have trouble getting out of bed. So Absolutely. emotional wellness is so overlooked. And there's often that stigma of asking for help. So I hope to, with this series, you know, um, just bring that out into the light that this is super important. It's no different than um, getting healthy physically. And it's super important. So I love when I heard what you do, I was so excited and I thought everyone needs to know about this. So give us just a, a little blurb about what you do and, and how that came to be. Exactly. Thank you. Um, so um, I couldn't agree more with what you said about emotional wellness. Absolutely important. And I'm actually looking forward to see, uh, you know, the other experts in the series and I'm going to follow on your page uh, so uh, I can learn because there's always, always uh, things that we don't know and we need to learn. So very excited about that. Uh, I am a um, life coach for uh, kids and teens. What this means is that I'm helping uh, children uh, between ages six to 18. This is the age range that I'm working with to um, build this mindset skills for happiness, uh, confidence, and success. And um, I'm helping children to understand that um, though there might be things that we are born with, confidence uh, is not inborn. It's something that we can develop. And just as you are going to school and learning your ABCs and learning your one, two, threes and practicing them so you are able to remember and you can use them, the same thing uh, is about confidence, about self-esteem, about all the good, about responsibility for our life. So that is part of, a, you mentioned the positive self-talk, which is what I'm very passionate about because I believe it's one of the foundational skills that help us develop uh, confidence and self-esteem. Uh, that is just one of the uh, skills uh, that uh, we have in our toolbox. Um, and um, I actually teach a system that's called the wisdom system for coaching children. And it has 27 
mindset skills and we start with belief systems you know all those uh, things learning how that works and how we have the conscious and subconscious mind and the wonderful thing is working with children is that we can use stories so the system that i have uses stories uh so they can understand this a little bit better it's not therapy it is not i get asked all the time is this therapy is this i guess there's call nothing it wrong with that <laughs> nothing absolutely nothing uh it's just the system is also working towards uh making it fun for children to understand the skills and to build them and to practice them and to be prepared for um you know living a life of possibilities of of happiness of success of understanding that um it's it's a wonderful life that we are given and uh, we need to live it every day do you find also cuz i know with the essential oils when doTERRA came out with the um the kids collection um i was super excited because i not only does it empower the children because they have flash cards and it's color coded and um you you empower them to embrace their feelings to to have that awareness and to to be self you know self sufficient there mm -hmm. and but what i love also is in i have to teach the parents that first what what the system is how that collection works so that they can then share that with their kids do you find that this is helping the parents as well like they're getting some education too Oh absolutely um and just so many times um I I'm just going to give you a very quick story um on the skill of gratitude uh that is part of the skill the skill sets that I mentioned which is again a wonderful thing to uh to understand to learn and to practice one of the one of the children that I worked with um because we created a gratitude uh jar you might have heard of those or a gratitude yeah. box or yeah so we created together and she went home and she got everybody in her family to start participating and putting a little note of gratitude in in that jar and uh, i actually heard from the mom uh you know the the next week and she was like oh my goodness we've been trying to do this and we keep saying that we'll do it we'll do it and here we go she is coming and our children can learn can teach us they learn but they can teach us so much and this is one of the one of the things that i see families embracing and benefiting from you know what their children uh working with me uh can bring to to home back yeah i love that love that synergy yeah. so um this is just i i wished i had known about that when my mm -hmm. kids were you know i wished it'd been available and for me too cuz i yeah. suffered from low self esteem most of us do i mean it's something we have to figure out you know um so who needs to see you find you and know more about your services um yes yeah, so i uh you know interestingly enough i work with the children and the teenagers but i discuss with the parents so normally parents would come uh to talk to me um and um this one thing is that is for um children that um already parents are noticing that they have a problem they have low self esteem uh they don't have any confidence they're afraid of trying new things they're beating themselves up they are perfectionists nothing is good until it and they it's it's really really difficult and it um uh, you know it has um uh you know a bad impact on the family uh and then they come to to talk to me but i have also uh been working with parents and families who simply just want the skills they they want their children to learn this personal development skills because this is what they are at a young age so that as you said when we become adults we don't need to unlearn 
years and years of, you know, low self-esteem, negative self-talk and, and having to, you know, uh, start all over. Why not uh, doing this uh, the right way from the, from the very beginning? So it's either, but mostly my, um, my uh, clients that I work with are mostly the ones that are struggling with self-esteem and self-confidence. And this is like the main concern that parents have today uh, and they come for help. And, and another thing is that many parents have already tried to encourage their children and to, but it's just different when they're working with somebody else. There's not right. so much, um, you know, emotional baggage involved the way, and, and parents are parents. And of course, parenting is what they continue to do. Uh, and, you know, as a life coach, I, I'm not it's not the intention to replace uh, right. the parenting side of things. Absolutely not. But it's just somebody outside of the family who, um, you know, first of all, has the system to teach children these skills and uh, who is um, less emotionally involved, I will say, because as since we're talking about emotions, we know that sometimes between parent and child, the relationship can get a bit tense just because of the emotion. There's nothing wrong. Yeah wrong with it but it's a different dynamic right yeah yeah mm -hmm. so how can people reach you uh i am um i can i can send the the website my website is my name deliarusu.com and i'm also on facebook um you can look up deliarusu wisdom coach because this is the, the system that i'm using uh for coaching uh the wisdom system for coaching children also on instagram as well and, uh, you know, on the website, there's a lot of information of how I can be contacted for uh, coaching. And I want to say that I offer a complimentary free discover call for anybody, any parent who is interested to even find out if this is something that's right for their children. And there's absolutely no obligation. And, you know, if it's not a good fit, absolutely, you know, complimentary, private, confidential um, I, I just really want to reach, uh, you know, uh, all the kids and families that that feel that this is what they need and resonate with. Great. And once uh, this airs, then I will let you know. And if you can go ahead and put that in the comments, so it'll be Sounds real great. easy for people to find you, especially yes. the freebie, because everyone loves oh, to yeah, be able to take yeah. advantage of that. So um, I this you know, I like that you brought up that some people actually are seeing you before problems arise, because if we could learn to be more proactive and preventative in everything, what, what a difference it would make. Absolutely. Yes. So I always like to end with a fun question. And okay. Since I, my goal is to just spread positivity and hope and happiness. So the question had to be sort of fun. So my question is, where is your happy place? Oh, uh, I, I don't think I've, I've thought of the question, um, you know, recently, but I must say, um, let me say, if you asked me probably years ago, I would have thought of a place, it would have been, a, you know, the ocean, I would, I would immediately think about that. I must say that now through the work that I do and, and you know, through awareness that I have uh, ever since I started to teach, because you know how it is, what you teach, you must learn uh, for yourself, uh, it, would, it would kind of be anywhere I am. Um, you know, you can, you can, and again, through the power of positive self-talk, you can really uh, make yourself uh, uh, and, and, See yourself in your happy place anywhere you are. It's just a matter of awareness uh, and and knowing that you are in the perfect place and all is well wherever you are. You want to tell me, it. Becky, what your happy place is? I would love to hear. I don't know if you had a chance to to be the one interviewed. <laughs> I, well, that that sort of caught me off guard. Um, I probably I love water. Mm -hmm. I love water. So it would probably just be, you know, some, some I, I like simple things. I like water. I love family. So just being around, yeah. you know, family in a very 
um, relaxing kind of setting, that would be. I'm usually the type that it's go, go, go. I used to be a travel agent, so it was everything was always planned and all that. But the older I get, the more it's like, <laughs> yeah, let's just sit. Let's just, you know, have that quality time. So I, I could I could actually feel the energy and and just the calm and everything and the relaxation when you when you said that. So yeah, talking about well, emotions and energy. Yeah, it brings. Yeah, water is just very calming to me. It I is. absolutely love it. So. I just want to thank you again for thank joining you. me. I loved your spirit the minute I met you. So thank you so much. And thank you, Becky. Um, I just wanted to um, also remind everyone to follow me on Facebook with my business page, Hope Essential LLC. And then my website is uh, hopeessential.com. And there's lots of essential oil information and other holistic modalities, uh, information about those. And uh, as always, choose you, choose natural, choose now.